Introducing solids to a baby could be such a big thing. We have so much to read, to decide and even to buy. In this video, I'm going to show you the general recommendations when you're introducing solids to a baby in Germany. And I'm also going to show you the preparation of the first meals of my baby, also known as Little Lion. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This channel is about motherhood in Germany and uh, on today's video I'm going to talk about the um, recommendations when you're introducing solids to a baby in Germany. I have to confess that this was a little bit an overwhelming phase for me, so exactly the time before starting with solids. I guess for the second, third, fourth child uh, it would be easier. Um, the problem is also that the recommendations vary from country to country and from pediatrician to pediatrician. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to talk about in this video today are the general recommendations uh, for introduction to solids for babies in Germany. Actually, before the introduction, we had our midwife here again uh, in our house. Um, and she answered to many questions. If you want to see um, how midwives can help you in Germany right after your baby arrives, please check this video here. For the sake of this video, I'm going to follow the INFORM recommendations. The INFORM is the German initiative for healthy nutrition and more exercise and the, their recommendations are broadly accepted in Germany. I can tell you that our midwives and even our pediatrician guidelines were in accordance with the INFORM recommendations. I will also show you how I firstly prepare our baby's meals but if you want to have more ideas, uh, please check my Instagram account. There I usually post uh, his meals um, and also how I prepare them and so on. So let's start. And uh, the first question you should ask yourself and your baby <laughs> is if he or she is already ready to start eating solids. And this varies a lot from baby to baby, like everything else. So don't check your neighbor's baby to know uh, if your baby uh, is already ready to start with solids. We are all different and that's the beauty of it. In the meantime, there are four signs that you could look uh, and pay attention to. The first one is if your baby is putting objects in uh, her or his mouth already. The second one is if he or she is interested on what the others are eating right now. The third one is in case you give a spoon with some food to your baby, he or she is not pushing it out using his or her tongue. And the fourth and last one, but very important, is um, when you sit your baby in your lap, uh, if he or she can already support um, the head uh, and so is able to eat. In Germany, it is recommended that we wait until the beginning of the fifth month, but we don't pass um, the seventh month, the beginning of the seventh month, to start giving solid food to our babies. So, to start, it is recommended that uh, you give your baby some spoons of vegetable porridge uh, during lunch time, which is usually a breastfeeding or a formula meal, um, instead of giving uh, him or her uh, milk. And if he wants, if your baby wants, afterwards you can still breastfeed or give formula, uh, but just try slowly. And if this is working, you can gradually give him or her more um, from the vegetables, porridge, and at some point just stop with the breastfeeding or formula milk for the lunch period. But during the rest of the day, you should breastfeed and give formula to your baby. Actually for us, he ate uh, his porridge complete. And then afterwards he always wanted to be breastfed. So I did that. Um, and it took a little bit more than one month uh, for him uh, to quit breastfeeding after uh, eating his lunch. If your baby is not that happy 
um, eating with a spoon, uh, that could mean that he or she is not yet ready to start uh, with the solids introduction. So you just wait one, two weeks and then um, try it again afterwards. So let's now check how I cooked uh, the first meal of uh, my little lion. I chose to use parsnip as first vegetable, but there are others that you could use as broccoli, uh, carrots, cauliflower, zucchini, pumpkin are usually uh, well accepted by the babies. And um, I just cut it uh, after washing it. And um, I used this machine from uh, Avent, the two-in-one. Uh, and I really like it. I'm still using it, actually. Um, and I chose it because it makes the whole process of uh, steam cooking a little bit easier and faster. Um, and you don't have to clean so much afterwards. Uh, but it's actually your choice, the parents' choice. Um, you don't have to steam cook it. You can also cook it in a normal pot. Um, and afterwards, you can use a kitchen mixer. Uh, in this machine, as you can see, um, I can do everything here and it's very fast and easy. Afterwards, I put it in a baby bowl, the porridge, and I give it just a little bit of oil. Um, I'm putting olive oil, but um, in Germany it is actually recommended um, rapeseed oil. It is done. This was the first meal I gave to my little lion and he actually liked it. If you opt to give a uh, jar food for your baby, uh, which is also okay, uh, you just have to uh, know what is better for you uh, as a family, in your daily routine and for your baby. There is this brand, Hip. I guess you heard about that already. Here in Germany they are quite known. And uh, this one is just with meat. Uh, of course, you don't start with meat, but there are some just with one type of vegetable. The important thing here is if you start with it, uh, just choose one of the vegetables that I told you about. So it could be zucchini, could be pumpkin, uh, something like that. Very important, don't add any salt or pepper <laughs> to your baby's food, uh, even if you try it and it uh, tastes a little bit insipid, but that's normal and that's exactly how they should eat it. The next meal is the milk cereal porridge. And um, the recommended time to give to your baby is in the beginning of the sixth month and the, not later than the beginning of the eighth month. And this should be a dinner. And even if there are some cow milk allergies running in the family, uh, you should give cow milk to your baby anyways. Just in case um, your baby or you know your baby is allergic to cow milk, like our little lion, uh, then you can use other types of milk. Our nutritionist recommended soy milk. Let's check how I prepared our baby's first dinner. At first um, I put the flakes in the pot, uh, then the milk and I mix them all the time using a spoon until it gets the consistency that I want to. Uh, it depends a lot on your baby um, what he or she prefers, but of course in the beginning you're still trying. Um, actually for the his first meals I even used the kitchen uh, mixer to make it really uh, in small pieces. We use oat flakes, 20 grams, 20 grams of whole grain cereal corresponds to two tablespoons for oats, three tablespoons for spelt and 
4 tablespoons for instant flakes and um, some fruit you can uh, use 2 tablespoons of uh, fruit or uh, more or less 20 grams and uh, we are using soy milk uh, as i told you before because our baby has an allergy against cow milk Uh, and then in the end I put it in the bowl and the fruit and mixed everything. If you opt to give your baby some baby jars for dinner, uh, this is one example also from HIP um, and this is uh, oats milk um, porridge and uh, here is always written from which month on uh, are you allowed to give to your baby. Your baby will just know when he ate enough or she ate enough. So don't force your baby to eat the whole bowl if he doesn't want to. The third meal of the solid introduction in Germany is the cereal fruit porridge. And it should be introduced one month uh, more or less after the second meal was introduced. So after you introduce the dinner uh, one month uh, you can start giving the cereal fruit porridge. It is supposed to substitute one of the breastfeeding or formula meals and uh, if you're getting instant flakes just be sure that the main ingredients are fruit and whole grain cereals. Here is one example on how I prepared the cereal fruit porridge for my little lion. And what I did was um, I had 10 grams of whole grain cereal, in this case was spelt, and um, 90 milliliters of water and 100 grams of fruit. One type of cereal and one type of fruit should be enough um, and the most well tolerated fruits are apple, uh, banana, pear, peach, nectarine and apricot. And we are going to use some oil again. I'm using again olive oil. This is actually the recommended in Portugal, uh, but in Germany is rapeseed oil. I use also a lot rapeseed oil, but since I have right now olive oil at home, I'm using it. I just had the cereals inside the pot, then the water, and uh, I heat it and mix with a spoon all the time until it gets the consistency that I would like to or that my baby would like to. Here I'm using a small pot which was one of my best pots uh, when I started introducing solids to our baby. If you want to check uh, all the products that I think are worthwhile to purchase, please check this other video I made about it. After I reach that consistency that uh, my baby likes, um, I put everything in a bowl, also the fruit, and mix everything again. And um, I put a little bit of the oil. And just in the end, after I cooked it already and not in the pot. I don't have here with me any example of a baby jar of cereals, fruit, porridge, uh, but there are <laughs> here in Germany a little bit everywhere in supermarkets and uh, other kinds of shops. Even if you introduce these three meals, the recommendation is that you continue breastfeeding because it supports the immune system of your baby. However, if your baby is already eating three meals per day, uh, which are not formula or breast milk, uh, you would need a little bit more uh, liquids than just milk. Uh, so offer your baby water also. 
I hope this video gave you the information you were looking for. I'm very curious about which uh, vegetable are you going to start to give to your baby. So let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram for more baby meals ideas and also to subscribe to my channel here on YouTube to see more videos about motherhood in Germany. See you on the next video! Bye!